morning and welcome to Soul Family Read for December 13th, 2021. Um, kind of personal reading for me, but here I look at uh, manifestation, spirituality. Uh, think of Terrence McKenna when he said, find the others. Love, relationship. Um, every day also I do readings for, basically for couples and singles. You know, if it says someone on your mind, uh, consider you a couple whether you're with them or not, if someone that's completely and totally single, that's what I do singles readings for. I think the question's always uh, important when it comes to tarot, maybe more important than the answer. But today, um, I see the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> which is Count Heavily's little four card reading, daily collective reading, um, Three of Swords. This is what I got back to the <laughs> Gilded Tarot Royale, so you have your classic Three of Swords with the heart I do uh, think of thoughts though and the thoughts that came to mind right before the reading what came into my mind was standing in the judge blown bedlam of self um, a big theme for me I mean this is heavy but this is like uh, maybe with these eclipse ins clip I kept asking what's eclipsing out what the, I'm transforming so it's got to die first What's dying? I don't feel anything dying. Self. I just really just let it go. The self in a big way. Um, so. Uh, it's a tough energy to deal with. And I've been having a lot of people. You know, visitor here. Uh, 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 you know, I'm in contact with a lot of people. And I'm, I'm getting this a lot. This is a Venus Pluto too. Is A lot of this kind of just bringing us to these places. Where is our self? What do we value? What's important to us? Um, if thoughts, uh, big time with thought patterns, um, changing the dynamics. So, so they like Earl Grey too. Okay, I don't blame. It's the, it's the bergamot. <laughs> but uh, so let's just see where what I got for where we're at. Wow, this is tough to absorb energy. Yeah, it's like a little, I call it a little mini uh, uh, night of the soul going on with this Pluto Venus. You know, for me, it's absolutely corresponding with uh, Pluto opposite my moon. Because Pluto's heading direct again. They're only two degrees apart. Until it hits the moon and clears it by a degree for the last time, which is going to be, I don't know, fucking forever. Um, I'm kind of having this energy too. Um, and look at this now. With the, uh, This is where we're at in terms of manifestation, spirituality. And here's the overall energy. I think this is kind of like the energy that we're in. I'm talking about the big picture. It's a crucible. It's a, it's a purging. I think the best way to put it. But we got all these swords. We're cutting stuff out, maybe of ourselves. You know, again that self dying. But it's like we're in this place right now in the midst of this transformation, where maybe we don't see anything. And our eyes are covered. Let's see, what's crossing us. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. We can think of that as a crossing card. What's the problem? What's crossing us? Four of Pentacles. Oh, man, now I'm getting um, uh, uh, God bless the child. Uh, blood, sweat, and tears. God bless the child that's got their own. Second house stuff. Self-worth. Feeling solid. Being reliable. Having a, a sense of grounding earth energy that's what's lacking here this is air I tell you thinking being in thoughts like uh, so if that's what's blocking you kind of turn that around say that probably what we need is some degree of like uh, grounding this can be just uh, simply asserting you know that you know I'm gonna focus on you know practical things I mean from brushing our teeth to you know uh, take care of our bodies um, eating healthy you know four pinnacles um, it's kind of holding on to our energy, but I think here it's like trying to just getting a hold of our energy, getting grounded. Uh, let's see, if I say a little mini uh, night of the soul, it's kind of like there were many ice ages where they had entire summers or, or crops were lost, it snowed in July and August. Next year it was fine. The sun, next year it was fine. Yeah, but this is the advice from spirit. I was already kind of thinking this, it's like, uh, I, because I, I don't, I'm a cancer, I don't, I'm not into denying feels. I'm not into saying, oh, well, everything's fine. <laughs> you 
You know, if everything's not fine, everything's not fine. And that's part of our journey, too. That's part of the lesson. If everything was always fine, we probably would learn a lot. And mostly, learn what we're getting out of hammer. So here we are in this little mini ice age. And what's coming? This is being promised by spirit here. And as advice, the sun is coming. That's what's coming. Wow. That's good news. And I, I always say, like, in this reading, this is the most important part here. Because this is the advice from spirit. I mean, I always trust that. And it, I mean, you couldn't be any more positive. It's the best sun yet. A card in the deck, guys. In the three of uh, um, pentacles, the good worker card, someone that loves what they do, uh, puts their pride into it, and uh, typically they're going to do a good job. This could be someone that's a glass blower, is a glass blower, I always say. Someone that the other people in the field come to when they want it done right. This kind of energy. So it's working very hard and a very skill way on ourselves. It's, uh, it's all personal energy here, all of it except for the advice from spirit is that understand that you know you're you're working in enlightenment in the sun um no matter you know look at the look at this <laughs> it's this is how i'm feeling but this is what spirit wants to tell us that's that's what's the reality is this no matter how we might feel thank you guys